Hello and welcome to your Yoga for Anxiety video. My name is Katie. I'll be guiding you through this class today. So let's find ourselves in a comfortable seated position. Sitting in that comfortable position, taking any adjustments that you might need. Sitting up nice and tall and relax the shoulders away from your ears. Allow the hands to land somewhere comfortable in the lap. Take a nice, long, deep inhale to fill up your body. And exhale through an open mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Last one, nice deep inhale to lift the heart a little bit higher. Maybe hold the inhale in and exhale through an open mouth. And then returning to a long deep breath in and out through the nose. Tuning into this present moment. Tuning into your breath. Letting the thoughts come if they come, but not letting them take you away into a virtual reality. Just pause here for a few more long, deep cycles of breath with one hand on the heart and the other hand over top of that first hand. Having this deep connection with yourself. Ready, you can drop the hands down to the lap. Take your right hand and place it beside the right hip. Inhale to lift the left arm up and then exhale to reach the arm up and over. Keep both hips pressed into the mat and maybe take the gaze up. You might begin to walk the right hand away from the hip. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale to come back up to center, both arms come up. And exhale, float the left hand down beside the left hip and reach the right arm up and over on that exhale. Spiral the right shoulder back, maybe take the gaze up, one more breath. Inhale to rise, both arms back up and let's flow. Inhale, or exhale, right arm beside the right hip left arm up and over inhale to come back to center and exhale to go to the other side inhale rising up exhale side openers rising both arms back up and exhale allow the hands to come to heart center close your eyes take a breath When you're ready in your seated position, you can begin to walk the hands away from you. Just really letting the forehead come closer to the earth as you relax the neck. Feel the opening in the back of your body. Take any movements to help relieve some stress or tension. Take your next inhale to walk the hands back towards you. If you're seated cross-legged, switch the cross of your legs. And then on your next exhale, begin to walk the hands away from you. Really surrender that upper body towards the earth. Relax the neck, close the eyes. Next inhale, walk the hands back towards you and begin to make your way into child's pose. So sitting back on the heels, walk the hands away from you. And again, surrender the heart and the forehead towards the mat. Closing down the eyes, tune into your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Shifting into all fours, knees hip width apart, 
Inhale to drop the belly towards the earth, lift the head and neck back if it's safe and comfortable, and then exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale to cow pose, drop the belly, look up. And exhale to cat pose, round the spine, chin to the chest. And then continue to flow back and forth in these cat and cows. And feel free to close your eyes and get into how this feels in your body. When you're ready, tuck the toes and press both palms into the mat. Send the hips up and back in our downward facing dog. Maybe deeply bend the knees to begin to find that straight spine. You can begin to pedal out the dog, press one heel down, lift the other, and switch. Really tune into the breath, tune into this moment. Find some stillness. When you're ready, look up towards the hands and begin to slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Keep the feet hip width apart. Bring that deep bend to the knees and allow the upper body to rest on the thighs. Relax the arms down, relax the neck. Inhale to find your halfway lift, straight legs, straight back, hands into the thighs, the shins, or maybe fingertips reach the mat. And then exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise, press into the four corners of your feet, rise your spine up. Hands come up overhead, and then exhale to find the hands at your heart space. Inhale, arms come up to the side, palms to touch. Exhale, find that standing forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, press both palms into the mat, step one foot back in the other. Option one, modified plank, drop the knees to the mat. Option two, toes are tucked, knees are off the mat, inhale. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest, the chin. Inhale to find that baby cobra, rise the heart up. Exhale, forehead to the earth. Come back through tabletop position, tuck the toes and find your way to downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise the right leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the right knee in whatever way it gets it there. Step the foot in between the hands and begin to drop the back knee. Rise your spine up, hands to the hips. We're gonna send our hips lower in our low lunge. Right knee is over the right ankle. You can stay with hands on your hips. Maybe you press your palms together in front of the heart or go for a more invigorating heart opener. Interlace the fingers back behind you, press the knuckles down in a way as you lift up through the heart. Take the gaze up if it feels good. Inhale. Exhale, soften any tension. Inhale to slowly come back up. Frame the right foot. Keep the left hand on the inside of the right foot and draw the right hand to the hip as you turn the chest open. Or there's the option to rise the right arm up. Take the gaze up. Inhale in our low lunge side opener. Exhale, float the hand down to frame the foot. Inhale, kick the right foot back up in our three-legged dog. And exhale, lower it down. Right away, go to the other side. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, whatever way it gets it there. Drop that left foot in between the hands as you drop the back knee. Inhale to hands to hips. Exhale, find that low lunge, left knee over left ankle. You can begin to press your palms together in front of the heart space or maybe interlace your fingers back behind you, opposite thumb on top this time. Chest opens up, heart opens up, let the head fall back. On your next exhale, arriving with your hands, framing that front foot. Right hand on the inside of that left foot, left hand to hip, turn the chest open, or left arm reaches up, take the gaze up, low lunge with a twist. And exhale to frame that left foot, tuck the back toes, send the left leg back, three-legged dog, and then slowly finding your way back to downward facing dog for a few cycles of breath, maybe pedal it out. When you're ready, lowering the knees to the mat, sitting back on your heels. 
Go ahead and interlace your fingers back behind you. Press the knuckles down and away as you lift up through the heart. Keep the head neutral or let the head fall back any amount. On your next exhale, let's drop our forehead towards the earth, allowing the knuckles to point up towards the ceiling or the sky, really opening through the shoulders. Inhale to come back up, lift the heart, let the head fall back. Maybe close your eyes. And then begin to come back to center. And then arriving, laying down on your back. Let the knees come in towards your chest. You could take a hold of behind the knees. Or maybe grab anywhere on the lower leg. And just begin to relax the shoulders. You may begin to sway the knees side to side. Deeply connect with your breath here. Finding some stillness. And then begin to float the feet down to the mat, arms alongside your body. Let's go ahead and cross the right ankle over the left knee. Figure four, thread the needle. You can stay there. You can begin to pick up that left foot and draw the thigh in towards the rib cage. Take your fingers and interlace it behind the thigh. Take a deep inhale to any sensation you may be feeling. And use that exhale to soften, to surrender to this moment, to the now. One more deep breath. And on the exhale, slowly lower that left foot to the mat. If it wasn't there, uncross the right foot and just pause. Let's go ahead and come onto the other side. Cross the left ankle over that right knee and you can stay. Or you can begin to lift the right thigh closer towards you. Interlace your fingers back behind that thigh. Bring some softness to the shoulders, the neck and the jaw. Close your eyes. Tune into that beautiful breath. On your next exhale, begin to lower the feet down towards the mat and just pause for a few cycles. And when you're ready, you can begin to draw the knees in towards your chest. If you would like to give yourself a little bit of a hug, draw the forehead closer towards the knees as you wrap your arms around the lower legs. And then when you're ready, begin to find your way to our final pose, Shavasana, extending the legs long on the mat, the arms alongside your body, closing down the eyes, knowing that this is the opportunity where you let your body relax. The thoughts will wander, that is totally normal. I want you to bring the awareness to your breath. You can say silently in your mind on each inhale, I am breathing in. And silently on each exhale, I am breathing out. You're doing amazing. You are amazing. The best that you can, let yourself go here. If you would like to stay longer, you can pause this video. Otherwise, we're gonna bring some movement back to the fingers and the toes by giving them a wiggle, possibly rolling out the wrists and the ankles in one direction. Just making sure to balance it out by going the opposite way a couple times. Draw the toes together at the end of the mat. Inhale to reach the arms up overhead, full body stretch. Hold the inhale, stretch the body. And then on your exhale, begin to relax as you draw the knees in towards your chest. 
When you're ready, choose a side to roll over to. Just pause there. You might use your bicep as a pillow. And then pressing yourself up to find a comfortable seated position to close off our practice. Closing down the eyes, sitting up nice and tall. Let the hands land somewhere comfortable in your lap. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine, lift the heart a little bit higher. Exhale to soften the shoulders away from your ears, relax the neck, the jaw. Noticing how you feel mentally here after we've done this practice. And when you're ready, draw your hands together in front of the heart space in prayer pose. Thank you for letting me guide you through this practice. From my heart to yours, namaste.